Good morning, folks. Today we're going to look at a mega galaxy cluster, see two articles on earthquakes, one on predicting them and another on triggering them, and we'll get confirmation of the best way to forecast a sunspot cycle. But here, we are starting as always with the last 24 hours on the sun. Minor flares, minor surges, but a generally more quiet day given the fact that we are at sunspot maximum. There are several sunspots, including two incoming active regions near the limb on the left. This is what happened right before the last several 5.9 month cycle upticks. For a couple days, the numerous sunspots went quiet while the plasma motions in the chromosphere and lower corona continued to show signs of turbulence. We'll continue monitoring for that uptick in eruptive activity. Let's go next to El Gordo, a galaxy cluster so big it defies what they once believed was possible. The X-ray signatures combined with the infrared light show the plasma interaction between the massive galaxies near the center of the cluster. They say the X-ray signature in blue tells them El Gordo reached its massive size by having two already massive clusters collide into one. Let's go next to one I missed from February, an excellent study showing the propensity for geographic longitudes that take plasma penetration during solar storms to have large subsequent earthquakes. This goes beyond the dozens of studies we've seen on solar forcing of earthquakes and actually details location-based data based on the solar storm plasma and the eventual earthquake. In that same vein, folks, we've seen dozens of other papers on the electromagnetic precursors to earthquakes like atmospheric electricity variation. This one adds to the several on the geomagnetic field shift at the local region before the earthquake. The study lays out the anomaly detection method they eventually plan to use to help predict the big ones and give warnings before they occur. Last but not least, a confirmation that the solar polar magnetic fields are the best way to predict the coming solar cycle strength. Back in 2011 through 2016, everyone who understands solar patterns was discussing the possibility of a grand solar minimum for the cycle we're in now, including us. But we ended up breaking from that paradigm in 2017, when the solar polar magnetic fields strongly suggested otherwise. Many of you recall the bitter battles over whether we'd get a grand minimum now, and folks, this was the key component of our suggestion it wasn't going to happen just yet. Obviously, it didn't, and in about two to four years, we'll be able to forecast the next sunspot cycle as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.